And now we're going to hook up our cooling lines. And this is our uh, breather going from our catch can to our air filter. So the driver's side, when it comes straight out of the heater core driver's side, comes along, attaches right to the fitting underneath the alternator. Very simple there. One with the T's on the passenger side goes forward. Now route this, okay, pay attention here. You, you, you'll see it when you do it, but when, you, when you're doing it, look ahead and see where it's going to come through. Keep it away from moving parts, keep it away from the hot objects, route it down, okay, and it's going to come down over here and on the bottom where we took off the hose before, there's a 90. We're going to rotate the 90 down, attach the two. Meanwhile, paying attention to how it's coming with the turbocharger piping, the belt moving, things like that. From the bottom, I'll show you how clean it is. Just want you to keep in mind how you're routing the hose. Okay, our air filter hose, the hose going to the air filter comes off here. We pushed it behind the brake lines here, coming forward, wrapped it up over here, and come across the front. We put the plenum back on, it's going to be here. We come back around, it's going to attach to our air filter like so. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hook up the lower. I already got the top, and we'll be putting the plenum on here pretty soon. Here's that lower hose with that J, or that 90 degree hose existing from the vehicle right next to the lower radiator hose. We've got it tilted down. Brass fittings already attached to our hose. Provided stainless steel hose clamps. Okay, we're just going to tighten that up there. Move on to the next one. Orientate the hose clamp so it's not going to rub something else. You know, you want to be able to access it if you need to at a later date, and you don't want the hose clamp to cause a, a chafing issue. So before we put the intake plenum on, we're going to want to bleed the cooling system. The air will get trapped in the engine, and there's a bleeder right at the thermostat housing that you're going to want to bleed. Now you can do that just you know pouring it regular style right through the radiator or here's a device I like to use called a spill free. You select the right fitting, set it on here, fill the coolant and that way you get the coolant level up and above all of the rest of the engine including the heater core and the heater core hoses. So this allows it to raise the, the level of the water so the air will begin to work its way out. So we're going to put coolant in here, we're going to loosen the fitting. As soon as the, as soon as the air starts to come out and the coolant starts to flow from the fitting, you, at that point you're just going to top, you're going to screw that back in to close it off and of course after we get it all running we'll continue to let it run. But this way the air that's trapped in the engine will now escape. So I got my coolant in my spill free reservoir here. I've loosened the bleed fitting on the thermostat housing. So it looks like a Phillips. I recommend a very large flathead screwdriver and then just open it all the way up. Now you can take a look at it here. It's just got a little, little section here where the air can kind of bubble right out of it. You'll notice as soon as it starts flowing full coolant, you're ready to go. So that's what it looks like. It's plastic. Use the right tool, large flathead screwdriver. Don't mess up the fitting. So I'll let the coolant flow. You can hear the air rushing right out of it. Well, it drank all of that, so we're going to put some more and do it again. That's it. It's all you need right there. At that point, just close it off. I got another pan down at the bottom catching this, but get it down and just tighten. Okay, that's a very important step. So the air, especially on this Pentastar motor, air does get bound in the engine and does get trapped. So if you lower the cooling system level and you'll find, even though you got coolant there, it'll try to overheat, it'll have difficulty purging that air out. So this is a great way. And the reason why we're doing it with the plenum off is that you'll see, and I'll point out to you in a minute, when the plenum's on, the throttle body and stuff covers up the access to that bleed fitting. So this makes sure the air is not trapped in the engine. Later, when we see the engine running, the left air, leftover air will purge out from the heater core hoses.